One of the best ways to memorize where notes are higher up on your fretboard is by actually sight reading music and forcing yourself to play the melody high up on the neck rather than down low on the neck. So that's what we're going to do in today's lesson. First, I'm going to teach you a C major scale in two octaves that goes higher up the neck. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you could play it with a, both a low G and a high G ukulele. So first, we're going to do it using a low G ukulele. So for low G, you're going to start on the fifth fret G string with your middle finger. You're going to play that note, which is the note C. So I've got my middle finger on the fifth fret G string to play C. Then my pinky is going to go on the seventh fret G string to play D. Then I'm going to move to the C string. I'm going to put my index finger on the fourth fret C string to play E. Then my middle finger is going to go on the fifth fret C string to play F. Then my pinky is going to go on the uh, seventh fret C string to play G. So let's just do that part up until there. We have C, D, E, F, G. I'm using the fingers middle, pinky, index, middle, pinky. Okay? So we have C, D, E, F, G. Then I'm going to put my, we're going to move to the E string now. Okay? And I'm going to put my index finger on the fifth fret of the E string, okay, to play the note A. Then I'm going to put my ring finger on the seventh fret of the E string to play B. And then my pinky is going to go on the eighth fret of the E string to play C. So we have A, B, C. I'm doing index finger, ring finger, pinky, all on that E string. A, B, C. Okay. So that's, we completed one octave. So let's just go through that again one more time, that one octave. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now we're going to keep going up another octave, just for fun. So we ended on C. Then we can, we're going to move to the A string now. And we're going to put our index finger on the fifth fret A string to play D. Then our ring finger is going to go on the seventh fret of the A string to play E. Pinky is going to go on the eighth fret of that A string to play F. Then I'm going to lift my whole hand up and I'm going to sort of move to a new position. I'm going to put my index finger on the tenth fret A string to play G. Then I'm going to use my middle finger on the twelfth fret to play A. Then I'm going to use my ring finger on the 14th fret to play B. And then on the, I'm going to put my pinky on the 15th fret to play C. So up here we have 10th fret, 12th fret, 14th fret, 15th fret for the notes G, A, B, C. So we have G, A, B, C on frets 10, 12, 14, 15, and that is C major in two octaves. So let's do the whole thing now. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. So it's good to practice that scale going forwards and backwards, just like I did just now, ascending and descending, and uh, really get used to playing the notes there. Now, if you have a high G ukulele, we only have to adjust the first two notes of the scale. So instead of playing fifth and seventh fret on the G string for notes C and D, we can just use um, the open C string to play that first note C, then we can use the second fret of the C string to play the note D, then that's all, all we have to substitute. So it's C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay. C, D, E, F, G. And I, I usually, fingering wise, I do open C string, no fingers, index finger on the D, the second fret C string, which is in note D. Then I just slide that finger up to the fourth fret to play E. Then my middle finger is on F. Then pinky's on G, seventh fret. And then everything else is the same. 
So it's just that first, the first two notes are different, and then it's the rest is the same. Cool. So for this lesson, I have a printable PDF that has that C major scale in two octaves written out with both the music notation and the tablature. I also have the sheet music to Moon River, uh, and this is the song we're gonna work on playing today. And um, I have it written out again in musical notation and tablature. And I have one version that actually doesn't have the tablature because I think it's good for you to practice trying to read it without the tablature since we're trying to memorize where these notes are on the fretboard. If you have to write in the names of every single note, like the letter, like G, D, C, that's, that's fine, you can do that. It's better than reading the tablature though. Um, but I have the tablature there as well so that you can check yourself uh, and see, you know, if you're playing it in the correct spot. Now, can I play, for instance, the seventh fret C string is the note G, right? However, so is the third fret E string, right? G, G. And it's the same octave, right? They sound exactly the same. They're in the same register, same octave, G. So, if you come across that G in your music, you could technically play it either place, right? You could play it here or here. But for the sake of the exercise, I'm going to force you, I want you to be forced to play the note up here. So I want you to use the notes in the scale that we just practiced to play the notes in this music. Um, because there's a good chance you might already know uh, like your C major scale down here low on the neck. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. It's pretty common that people know that scale. Um, and I can just go over it quickly with you in case you don't know it, but it's open C string, D second fret C string, open E string, F is the first fret E string, G is the third fret E string, open A string, B is the second fret A string, and C is the third fret A string. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Very common that that's the first scale that people will learn on the ukulele. But so what I want us to do is I want you to be forced to, instead of playing the open A, like we did in that scale, I want you to play A where we did it in our scale. So C, D, E, F, G, A. Ah, we did A on the fifth fret E string, right? So I want you to play the A there instead of the open A. As I said, you, you know, it's the same octave, right? This A sounds the same as the open A, right? So technically we could use either one. But for the sake of this exercise, and to force us to memorize where these notes are higher on the neck, I want you to use the notes that are in the scale. So I would say, I would force you to use this A instead of the open A string. Does that make sense? So let's get, let's jump into it. If you want to download the printable PDF that we're going to be following today, you can download that using a link in the description below. So the first note in the song is G, okay? So we're gonna play our G on the seventh fret. C string, okay? And then we have a D and then we have a C and it jumps up to the D. So we have G, D, C, okay? So I'm playing the G on that seventh fret C string, the D on the fifth fret A string, and then the C, eighth fret E string. G, D, C, okay? Then we have a B, which is seven, right next door to the C, so the seventh fret E string. B, A, we have on the fifth fret um, E string. A, then G, we have seventh fret C string. G, and then we have F, which is the fifth fret C string. And then we have um, G again. G, and then we have a C, a low C, so we can do, so I can play it there. If I had a high G ukulele, I would do the open um, C string. But since I have a low G ukulele here, I can do fifth fret of the G string. Okay? So let's just do that part up until there. We have G, D, C, B, A, G, F, G, C, C. Okay? Then it repeats the same melodic phrase. And then we have C, and then D, okay? So let's just do that up until that point. Then we 
have the note E, which is the fourth fret C string. Then we have the note C, which is the fifth fret G string. Then we have G, E. So G is the seventh fret of the C string. E is the fourth fret of the C string. Then we have D. Then we have C. Then we have G, E again. Then we have D. Then we have C, E, G. C, E, G. Then we have a higher C um, to B, which is on the eighth and se seventh fret of the E string. A, C, B. And then we have A, B, A, which is fifth fret, seventh fret, fifth fret, A, B, A, all on the E string. Then we have a G, which is the seventh fret C string. Then we have uh, an A, which is back to the fifth fret E string. So let's just do that part up till there, okay? Okay, now we're at measure 21. We're back to the note G, which is seventh fret C string. Then we have D, C, but high up. So we're gonna jump to the fifth fret A string, D. Then C is the eighth fret E string. G, D, C. Okay. Then we have B, A, G, F, G. So that's gonna be B, A, G, F, G. Then we have low C, then we have again B, A, G, F, G, low C, and then D. Then we have E, which is fourth fret, C string, E, C, E, G, and then C, eighth fret, E string, C, then we have D, which is fifth fret. D, C. Then we have G, which is seventh fret um, C string. Then we have B, A, G, F, G, C, B, A, G, F, G. Then we have C. Okay, so let's try playing through the whole song now, nice and slow. And this song is in 3-4 times, so you have 3 beats per measure, just so you are aware. Okay? 1, 2, 3. And that is it. Also in the printable PDF, I do have the chords written in as well. So if you wanna just play through the chords, that's always a fun option as well. So I'm just gonna play through the chords. Uh, if you're following along the PDF, you can just read them. We have a C major, A minor, F major, D minor, E7, C7, 
A B flat nine, you're gonna bar the first fret, put your middle finger on the C string second fret, and your pinky on the A string third fret for B flat nine. A minor seven is four open strings. F sharp minor seven flat five, you're gonna bar the second fret, middle finger goes on the A string third fret, and ring finger goes on the C string fourth fret. Then we have B7, you're gonna bar the second fret, middle finger on the third fret C string. Then we have E minor, which is just like that. D minor seven, G7, and then F minor, okay? So those are the chords if you wanna play through the song with chords as well. Uh, and just if you're looking at the chord chart, if you see the slash marks, that was me just indicating how many beats each chord gets. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, let me know. I will do my best to answer them as quickly as I can. Um, thank you so much for watching. I think this is a really great way to get better at memorizing these notes on the neck. I encourage you to first try playing through the sheet music that does not have the tablature. So uh, the one that says no tabs. Play through that one first because you want to, we're really trying to quiz ourselves on where these notes are on the neck, okay? So I, I'm giving you the tab, tabs as well so you can check yourself to make sure you're getting it right. But really this is like a sight reading exercise. I want you to practice reading the music notation notes. As I said, if you have to write in the name of the notes, like the letters, that's fine. But we're trying to memorize where these notes are on the neck. So I want you to start mem memorizing that the eighth fret E string is the note C, right? There's C. Here's C. I want you to start memorizing that the fifth fret E string is the note A, and that the seventh fret C string is the note G, and the fifth fret C string is the note F, and the fourth fret is E, and so on and so forth. I want you to really start memorizing where those notes are. So that's your exercise. This is probably the best way to memorize where notes are on the fretboard. You know, I have other videos that talk about memorizing notes on the fretboard, and there's sort of these rote memorization exercises where you drill where notes are on the fretboard. I promise you that this is actually the easier way to do it, is just practice sight reading in different places, because that other method where you're just doing like exercises, it's all sort of abstract. But with this method, we're really like trying to play a melody. There's a goal, it's just a lot more fun, and it's a lot easier. For some reason, it's just gonna click in your brain a lot better. And if you do it this way, then if you later try to do those memorization exercises, it's gonna go a lot easier for you because you're already gonna have where a lot of the notes are memorized. So this is the best way to memorize the notes higher on the neck, I promise you. Um, so give it a try, let me know how it goes. I'm genuinely curious to hear if you guys find this um, easy or difficult. Um, and if you wanna see more videos like this where we play melodies higher on the neck to get better at reading music high on the neck and memorizing our notes high on the neck, let me know in the comments and I will make more videos like this. That is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Gracie Terzian. I post videos once a week here on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you on board. If you like this video, please, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it with a friend. All those things it really help me out a lot. Uh, again, if you wanna download the printable PDF to go along with this video, click on the link in the description below. Thank you guys again so much. Have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll see you next week.